Hey guys, even here, so Chicago Pro 2021-212 division, and as you can see, the winner was Keon Pearson. I kind of expected that, I watched Keon prep for this show, all his physique updates were absolutely amazing, and on the stage, he looked good, I can't say he looked bad, but I was really disappointed with his conditioning. So I thought he's gonna be peeled, I thought he's gonna be shredded actually, finally. But no, no, his conditioning was way off. He was like, I don't know, four weeks out, something like that. Look at the glutes. I mean, the glutes are not shredded. There are barely any separation happening over there. Keon is a great bodybuilder, great, great potential. He might even win the Mr. Olympia one day, but this conditioning, look at these glutes, soft. And it seems like conditioning was not appreciated at this show because John Jewett was ripped to the shreds and he was only fourth and this was the top three. So the top three guys had much better shape than John Jewett. It was all about shape, it seems, because Keon won. And here, I, I personally, I wouldn't give him the victory. I don't know about you guys, but I would always go with conditioning because that's what being ready, being prepared for a show is, you know, being shredded, being conditioned. If you come soft like this, yeah, he's a little bit bigger than these guys. He has a little bit more of a, of a 3D bubbly kind of physique, especially from the back. His back is really big, really thick. But overall, he didn't bring the conditioning. He wasn't ready. So did they give him this win because of his name? Or did they really actually look for aesthetics and nice shape and round muscle bellies and stuff like that? I don't really recall that ever being the case in these shows. No, it's, it's usually the conditioning, being ready for the show, being prepared, that's what wins the show. And Keon was not ready. I don't know if he didn't diet hard enough or he just messed up his peak week, but I think I can see fat, especially in the glutes. I don't think this is just water or him being flat or whatever, I think he just didn't diet enough. I mean, look at the glutes here. Some guys have glutes like this in the off-season, so he needs to improve the condition if he wants to win the Mr. Olympia, but apparently he won this show and everybody else was more conditioned than him in this top six right here. So I guess the shape is gonna carry you a long way, even though it was rarely ever the case in previous shows that we've seen, it seems like Keon has that good of a genetic structure that he can actually win these kind of shows, even though he's not in shape. So as you can see right here, none of these guys had structure like him, but I think all of them were more conditioned. So again, I mean, you be the judge, you tell me, what do you prefer? Would you go rather with conditioning or with nice structure, even though somebody is not ready? I personally would always reward conditioning. Look, if everybody else was horrific, then yeah, I would give the structure a win, but this guy, Ahmed Verdani, he was also very aesthetic, he had great structure, and he was way more conditioned. He took second though. Look at this guy. I mean, I've been following him for a while. He has a really nice shape, really complete physique. He's a great bodybuilder and he was really conditioned in this show. And he was second. So, again, me personally, I would give the victory to him. Because I would like to punish Keon for not bringing the conditioning. The judges shouldn't keep awarding him coming off like that. You guys know, if you follow my channel, that I'm a huge fan of Keon. I would love to see him dominate any stage, I would love to see him win the Mr. Olympia, whatever, he has amazing aesthetics, but I would also love to see him conditioned, and I think the judges can only make him do that if they punish him when he is not conditioned, and they rewarded him right now being soft like this. But if you guys saw him also win this show, you can tell me about it in the comment section down below. If you agree with me, you can tell me about that also, but make sure to like the video and to subscribe for more bodybuilding videos like this. And for Chicago Pro Open Division, I will be more uh, on track with that one, I will post it as soon as it happens. So subscribe guys to this channel, you're gonna see it first here, I promise you that. So thank you so much guys for watching, all the best and bye bye.